guys, it's TV and it's time for Injustice Gods Among Us, Chapter 9. Hope you guys are enjoying. This is a really great issue. John Constantine's plan has seemingly failed and now nothing is holding Superman back. The good thing is Superman finally comes face to face with John Constantine. Does Constantine have some elaborate plan up his sleeve? I mean, does he literally pull a piece of kryptonite from his sleeve? Is there anyone else helping him? Instead of moving forward with an epic and potentially action-heavy development, writer Tom Taylor uses the this ninth chapter to focus purely on character before dropping quite a twist. That's a great thing and this issues and Injustice Gods Among Us Year 3 is really really going great. There's three characters on display here, Superman Constantine and Billy Batson with Superman Taylor continues to show us what a twisted character he has become and why that yellow power ring selected him. Gun is the man of steel, he packed his bags and left quite some time ago. That is great. Now the man of fear has replaced him. This Kryptonian doesn't shy away from torture and doesn't think twice about having Sinestro fighting for his cause. Just about everything that makes Superman such a respectable character is long gone and that's crystal clear in this chapter. Even though he lets his rage step forward, we still see him hold that back for just a brief moment to manipulate one of his biggest admirers in order to keep the character by his side. Is the manipulation international? Intentional? It really doesn't seem like it. It's as if Superman isn't even aware of this one. So it's of just how much he's changed and can go from torture to thanking an ally in just a moment or two. Love or hate how much the dude has changed, it continues to be pretty an interesting development under Taylor's writing. The bad thing is if we are going to give something 5 stars, it really should blow us away and leaves us wanting to read it all over again in the near future. This is well written chapter that focuses on the dynamic between Superman and Billy and the twist will have you excited to find out what happens next but all in all it isn't an issue of injustice that's likely to leave us as lasting impression it's important for the next chapter and has a nice focus on character but when it comes to the best injustice has to offer it just wouldn't feel right giving this the same perfect rating as some of the really jaw-dropping and compelling issues minor criticisms it is it just me or is it a little odd that Shazam can have the conversation with Constantine and Superman, wouldn't it hear it? Also there's one panel where it looks like Superman's symbol isn't properly attached to his costume, almost like the button button port isn't connected to his body. The verdict is Injustice Year 39 does a fine job reminding up of just how far Superman fallen and it's a nice contrast to the brief focus. Here is the twist, this is the story's twist. And I hope you guys will enjoy and I can't wait for the next issue because it's really enjoying. So go to the website and download it, digital download, buy it over in DC Comics stores online. So thanks for watching, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Just share this.